Hello and welcome to the BBC studio here in London with me, Roman Martinez-Diaz. The number of coronavirus cases has risen to 17,500, making the total number go to 8,588 cases in total. The Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, has said, has said that today the UK has experienced a very tragic day. He and his colleagues are working very hard to try and decrease the number of coronavirus cases and he will try and minimise the contact between people from Monday by introducing a new set of rules. Once again, coronavirus cases have increased since the last month. This is a great shock for the nation as we see, as we continue to see a great lack of understanding by people and seeing that they are not adhering social distancing nor the wearing of masks. Let's now speak to our health correspondent, James Ferguson, who is now at King's College Hospital in London. Afternoon, James. So what do you think is the cause for the rise in coronavirus cases in the UK? How do you think the government can deal with this unexpected situation? Well, hello, Roman. Thank you for having me. Uh, well, first of all, we need to know how the government is going to react to this unexpected situation. We know that the NHS is working very hard at the moment and we also know that there is a lot of pressure on them. Uh, I believe that the government needs to focus on this and try to come up with ideas as to how we as a country can stop the spread of COVID-19 and we need to ensure that all people are complying with social distancing, the wearing of masks and just sticking to the rules. Okay, now let's move on to the Nigerian capital Lagos where we have our correspondent for the Federal Aviation Authority Nakwazawa Zabraza, as we now have heard that there has been an emergency landing done by an airline who was travelling from uh, from Dubai to Lagos. Here's our correspondent in Lagos. Afternoon, Mr. Zabraza. Can you tell us about what happened with this airliner flying to Lagos? Thank you. Hello, yes. Thank you for having me, Roman. So, what happened with uh, this airline is was that uh, Lagos Air Flight 1542 had to do an emergency landing due to an engine failure because of a bird strike. All passengers have been evacuated safely and there has been some minor injuries. As I say, no one has died, so that's very positive. And now, investigators are working to try and resolve this mystery. No one knows how this happened, but I'm sure there will that the Investigators will come to a conclusion soon. Ah, uh, what do you think? Well, what do you think I think? What kind of question is that? Who is so dumb to ask, uh, what do you think? Because I certainly think that's, that's very good, isn't it? <laughs> Knowing that most people, well, not most, all people have survived the crash, it's outstanding news.
What? Uh, sorry, guys. Uh, let's carry on with the news. I had a spasm there. I don't know. My head gone crazy or something. <coughs> oh shit, it's, hobbit. it's happening again. What the fuck? <coughs> yes, thank you, Romani. Tension is still building up in here, in the US, as we still do not know who could be the next president for the White House. I'm so, I'm so getting bored of this, and I do not know why. Por favor, que alguien me explique que coño está pasando aquí con Trumpy y con Biden y que no se deciden. Vamos tú qué? Ay madre mía. Me los rayos, me sale. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. So Joe Biden still has a majority of votes of 255-253 and Donald Trump has 214. Christopher, what do you think about this? Do you think anyone could win it? Yeah, what up guys? Uh, so what do I think about the presidential election in the US? Uh, basically, I think that Trump could win it. Trump could win. <coughs> oh, but we know, we all know that Biden still has a lot of votes. And we also know that Trump is trailing with 439 votes. Shit, that's wrong. I meant 214 votes. So, in a nutshell, what do I think is going to happen? Well, basically, 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 Biden is going to win. Yeah, come on. Jesus Christ, what happened there in that studio, guys? It will remain a mystery, but I can tell you one thing. I know, that pair was fucking crazy, wasn't it? <coughs> Just like me. <coughs> Sorry. Now, well, now let's move on and connect with... With, 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 <gasps> with, we need to connect with Adam Paul. Well then, how long do you think it could take for us to know here in the UK? How long is it gonna take for? Trump or Biden, Biden to become president of the US. It's so much clearer, I know that, but do you have a rough estimate? That this presidential election could take um Well, I really do think that there is some. S well, I really do think that there is some serious issues, issues, in this report. Like, we have Christopher is crazy. Uh, Katie who's speaking weird Italian in a weird Italian accent, and then we have. And then we have this American guy, this American guy, who is just talking absolute nonsense. And he then comes up at the end of his report with... Forever. It's going to take forever. I'm going to know that. 
But <clears throat> we all know that this is not planned to go this way. And I just have to say that these three these three guys are bloody crazy. Crazy bloody. Bloody crazy crazy bloody blah 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 blah. blah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was quite unexpected, wasn't it? Uh, sorry for that, guys. I had a spasm again. I don't know what's wrong with me today, but I think I, I must quit this job, or otherwise. I think this social media is going to think I'm fucking crazy, but I'm not. Trust me. You must believe me, guys. You must believe me. See, even I know how to do Donald Trump voices. Today, guys, is a great day for America. And we are going to build the wall between Mexico and... The USA is going to cost around $9,995 billion, but it's okay. I'm bloody rich. See? It's crazy, isn't it? Well, enough of that nonsense. Let's move on to a TikTok. Yes, you heard right. Let's talk about a... a Social media TikTok user called uh, called R dot Espia ciento veinte hundred and twenty. Here is what shocked me most of this user. Hello, my name is Roman. I am from Russia, Mother Russia. I drink a lot of vodka. Vodka очень вкусно. Это я пью vodka каждый день. А это очень healthy for your life. My hígado is going to agradecer me a lot. Viva Putin, viva, viva el vodka, y viva Mother Russia. What the hell was that? That TikTok user looks like me. That was creepy as hell. And he, he is going crazy. TikTok is becoming... A bloody venom for our society. Jesus Christ. I'm speechless. Well, now it's time to look at the weather for the few coming days from Monday to Sunday with Jeffrey Condombia, the Valencia player who was sacked from football and now works for us in the BBC. Thank you. Hello there, I am Jeffrey Condombia, the, the Valencia FC player who recently got sacked from football and now is a BBC weather man. So the weather for the UK is gonna be, well, as you can see, there is nothing here. So how can I know? I, I just need to work on my assumptions. I think the weather for for the weather for the UK is going to be quite shit. It's going to rain, it's going to hail, rain, hail, thunder, flooding in Scotland and Wales, and uh, that's it. Uh, for Monday, it's gonna rain, 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 
and it's going to rain, rain, rain. Then for Tuesday and Wednesday, it's going to thunder, thunder, thunder. <laughs> and then for for um, for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday and Sunday, it's going to be shit as well. Basically, because if we are in November, there is not going to be pretty good weather around. So there you go. Back to you, Roman. Well, there you have it. That's the weather with Jeffrey and Tonya. He did a great job. Uh, and we apologize for all the madness that there has been going on. And as you can see, I'm still under the effects of drugs. But well, who cares? Uh, so there, there you have it. That's the BBC. At 9, we have finished because of all the delays. But whatever. I hope you like this one. And see you in the next one. <laughs> see, I'm, I'm, I'm under the effects of drugs. <laughs>